subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. iPhone SE and iPhone 7 Plus, two pretty solid iPhones. If we go over here to the settings, you can see 16A 5339E for this edition. And then over here, we're going to go to the 7 Plus. Let's check this one out. And you can see same deal here, 16A 5339E. Now, the first thing I want to discuss here is the performance about iOS 12, because this is the thing that has impressed me the most. This is all about refinement, and Apple really touted how their performance is going to get better, and it actually is as good as some of the better versions of iOS 11 already, and we're only in beta 5. Usually towards the end, when we get around the you know GM build, it's definitely going to have some extra performance. So this is already pretty good. And let me just tell you, it's daily driver material right now. That's how good it is already. So you got good things to come when it comes to iOS 12 in the fall. Even on the older SE from 2016, it's performing fantastic. Here for the iPhone 7 Plus, it's the same deal as it has a more powerful processor, Apple A10, 3 gigs of RAM. I've actually ran this for a couple days straight, and I ran into basically no bugs on the 7 Plus. Now, don't get me wrong, there are a few bugs in every beta, but I haven't really ran into them in my day-to-day -day use. So, so far, performance extremely impressive. iOS 11 was super buggy in beta 5 of last year. So, so thumbs up so far for the performance. It's been stellar. And uh, if you were wondering about maybe if you're going to download the beta 5, definitely looking pretty good as a daily driver already. I must discuss battery life here. And this is kind of particular to depending on which phone you have. But as a whole, I have to say that battery life hasn't changed on basically any of the iPhones um, since iOS 11, the most like the 11.4.1. .1, it's not that much different on iOS 12 from basically what you're running on the official version right now. So that's a good sign. Also, we should mention in beta five here, the battery health thing has come out of beta. So you can see there's no longer a beta sign there anymore. So this is now an official feature for your iPhone. You can see 100% capacity here for this device. Let's take a look at the battery section. You can see out of the beta mode now. But yes, it, it still depends on the phone you have. Like if you have a 7 Plus, you obviously have a better battery life than an SE. If you have an 8 Plus, you obviously have better battery life than an iPhone 7. That still matters, the size of the battery. But what I got to say is that the iOS 12 is not draining battery fast at all. So they're really working on the refinements of your speed performance and, well, battery life the issues they were having last year and huge complaints. I'm already seeing really nice things for battery life and speed. And if they keep this up, it's going to be really nice when the new iPhones come out and iOS 12 is super refined. This is going to be a big year for software for the iPhone in terms of it just running like we're used to it running back in the day. Um, it's not going to offer huge visual changes, but really the refinements are definitely happening and I'm feeling them already on these devices. An awesome feature that I've been really enjoying from the iOS 12 edition since running this beta is the it's a screen time mode so if we go to the screen time this new feature it tells you basically how you're acting and what you're doing on your phone like your phone actions and what you're doing the most like social networking if you're doing a lot of entertainment and it shows you all your devices here as well and can really help you monitor your activity so if you find yourself saying man i need to cool it on the social media or i need to cool it on watching so many netflix videos you're gonna have proof of those habits that you have right here in screen time so that's been an awesome feature to use for ios 12 here another aspect of the ios 12 betas i've noticed on all of these devices is the camera opens faster than before i mean look how quick that camera opens in comparison to before so this is that camera boom you're just ready to fire a photo so you're not going to miss moments you know at all on ios 12 and i'm really happy about how fast the camera's performing i mean a lot of other phones are much slower to launch the camera app than that so very nice performance and that's definitely been something i've noticed is the camera opening speed is fantastic i mean it seems like something really small but it's really going to be something that matters when you're outdoors or you're trying to get a moment and boom it just fires open that's definitely going to be something that you don't notice until you actually start using it a nice update in beta 5 came to the news so in news there's like these new little toggles down here that says today spotlight and i like this channel section because 
clean list laid out of your favorite channels. This is making news much better. And I think the news app overall is going to be a much improved news app in iOS 12. So if you read the news app, like specifically the Apple news app, it's going to be a great addition to your update later in the fall. Basically, it's just cleaning up of the software. In this latest beta, the iOS 12 made the control center toggles a little bit darker here. 3D touch toggles also got easier to see, a little bit more saturated here. So you can see that them a lot easier than before. They were a little bit more uh, light in prior versions. The background wallpaper is just super saturated in comparison. I don't know if you're noticing this, but these phones almost look like OLED displays now especially the you know the background color or saturation of the wallpaper so apple's trying to make your lcd screen stand out a little bit more and if you think about it that kind of hints towards an lcd iphone coming because why would you make a more saturated wallpaper well because you want your iphone lcd that's going to be next to an iphone 10 plus or 10 to still stand out even though it doesn't have the same oled technology so that's just something i thought about and i think kind of makes sense on the whole i think that ios 12 has been pretty impressive so far the beta 5 has been really good in terms of performance you know there's a few things i'd like to see like maybe eventually apple change some icons up a little make it look a little fresher you know i know it's going on all refinement this year but at the same time you know still let's see some new icons maybe towards the end of the beta but i don't know if we're gonna see that other than that though battery life solid i mean both of these phones barely dropped at all throughout this video this is still at 54 at 100 so basically no drain throughout this video so you can just see that the battery is not bad at all on these devices. If you're into the stocks app, there's a total redesign here going on and you're gonna be able to see you know, more Apple news in here. It's just got more features to work with. You're definitely gonna like this if you're into you know, using your stocks app quite a bit. So I have to mention that as well. So when will you actually see the official version of iOS 12? Well, I took some notes here for your iPhone. iOS 9 for your iPhone dropped September 16, 2015. That was a Wednesday, the third Wednesday of September. iOS 10 dropped September 13th, 2016. I believe it was the second week of September on a Tuesday iOS 11 dropped on September 19, 2017. That was the third week on a Tuesday. So based on my research, we can expect the iPhones to get announced, the new iPhones, around September the 10th through the 12th. Somewhere in there, or maybe even a little bit later, maybe the 13th, we'll see. Somewhere in there, though. And about a week or so later, before the actual release, a couple days before the release, we'll see iOS 12 around the 19th of 2018. That is my predictions here for when you'll see the iOS 12 official version. And that's it. That's iOS 12. My honest feelings so far, thumbs up. It's looking very good. Also, there's been some you know reports that there's been some features showcasing, giving us hints towards there being a more all screen style iPad. So if you're looking for an iPad upgrade, stay tuned. Apple's got something up their sleeve for you as well. But how has your experience been? Give us your honest feelings on the experience with iOS 12 down below. Let us know your experience down below so people can decide if they're going to want to update to iOS 12 later this year or even try out one of the public betas. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Subscribe for more. I will catch you all in the next episode.